Hello, Georgia B back again. Um, today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I made using two retired stamps and a current stamp and a current stencil. So, this is where I got the Merry Christmas from. Merry Pattern, retired yonks, but I can't find a Merry Christmas like that. Winterwoods, this is last year's and it didn't carry over and I only used it I think twice last year so I'm using it this year and just the tree that's all I'm using, just the tree and of course snowman season and I'm using that snowman again alright I have cheated I have stamped two trees and cut them out and the snowman, I haven't coloured them in yet but I've done that and we've got one more to do which I thought I'd do on camera also we need to do the sentiment and the stenciling I've got a card blank what have I got here? I don't need that bit a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up for a one eighth, folded in half. And I have a card blank of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I also have one for the middle, wishing you a joyful Christmas, which will go inside. This is pre stamp I did stamp a few of them the other day. Because I always forget to do them. And that'll go like that and then we'll just decorate this bit. So move this out of the way. This is one card I did make in the last two weeks of my recovery so far. If you haven't watched my first video, very first video, you would have seen that I was, I've had pneumonia and I'm still recovering. Right, tree stamp, evening evergreen, and we're going to ink it up really well and stamp it down. Lovely. Close this up. Don't need it anymore. And we're going to clean the stamp. It's the trouble when you've got a lot of rubber around the stamp it gets covered in ink as well right that's that done put it away don't know if I'll use that again this year right now we've also got this to stamp I wonder no I'm going to do it at this end so I want a straight line at the bottom And we're going to stamp that there. Not very straight. I will just stamp that there and use my... That's not very good either. better. That'll do. And I'm going to trim her out. And
too much. I won't bother. <coughs> There's my sentiment, all done. Right, now, this tree we've got to cut out by hand. Yeah, this is the boring bit. And all I did was weave in and out. There's no trees flat on the bottom. And I just followed each branch round. Butter. Cutting that off. This is how I'm moving the paper. Hardly moving the scissors, she says, and losing it. I'm just so tired at the moment. <clears throat> and I've got a tickly cough. I am trying very hard to give up smoking. I'm nearly there. I actually have um, uh, the smoking clinic phoning me tomorrow. Here in the UK we can get help with stopping smoking. Hospital give me patches, which I'm wearing. So hopefully in a few weeks time, I can say I'm a non-smoker. And that is our three trees <coughs> and our snowman. But now we've got to decorate our trees. And if you remember my first comeback card, I said I got some metallic markers in a goodie bag. 
and I'm going to use them today. So I've got a silver, a gold, with like a pinky purple. So one tree, I just did pinky purple baubles on the And I coloured in his scarf with this one, so. This spreads very well. And then with the silver, I did the other bits, but I've got to go gently with this because the silver does take over the pinky purple. And it does shine nice. Right, now I also did a tree with silver baubles on two and we've got the gold I don't know if you'll be able to see this, if the camera will pick them up. Let's see if you can see this one. No, I don't think you can because they're not very, they're very subtle. But they do have um, decorations on them. Right, this one. <coughs> what we're going to do is stencil this. I've got my, I'm using one of these brushes today because uh, they're better for stenciling. And some. Seaside spray ink and I have got a snowflake stencil out of Adoring Design Decorative Masks. This is in the uh, Autumn Winter Catalogue. Oh, right, I'm going to put that over a mask and we're just gonna stencil it all in Doesn't matter if they're under the tree, but mainly concentrate on the ones that are on the outside.
And there we have it. I'm not worried about them too because the trees will hide it. That look more green than blue. Never mind. Now we'll get our trees and we're going to lay them down. I want that one on the top. Like that. Now that one, the gold one, will lay flat. These two are going to be on stencil. So this one needs stencils all over it. Uh, uh, dimensionals. Stencils. I've got stencils on the brain. This we're going to sit just there. Right before I put the other one on, let's glue this onto the card base. This has it, wishing you a joyful Christmas. I think I stuck to more the same. Which doesn't matter because they're not going to the same household. Get rid of that, I don't need that. Right now then, this one. I will only have to put stencils. Stencils, dimensionals, along the bottom and up this side. hiding behind the tree and he only needs them on the bottom here so he's behind the tree like that I'm going to put a bit of glue on there. On his arm to go behind the tree. I 
pass it. Right, and now for the sentiment. Just there, like that. And then we're going to put some gems on. Only going to put three, might as well use these up. One, two, three. There we have it. Clump them closer together, never mind. Another Christmas card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday but until further notice I'm only uploading Monday and Friday till I recover. So all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.